<laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Kate Baldwin. Thank you for joining us for this fabulous edition of Facebook Live at the CNN Grill. Uh, I am here with Anastasia Samosa. If you don't know the name, you definitely know the face and the story from last night. Uh, during speeches last night, I think the reviews are in and Anastasia stole the show. How are you doing? I'm great. I still can't believe it all happened. It's an honor to be here. It was incredible to have such a platform, especially, as I said in the speech, on the eve of the 26th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. So today is that anniversary, which makes me even more proud that I was able to have that stage last night to show my support for, for the secretary. And it was a really powerful speech, not only because you have known Secretary Clinton since you were nine years old. Yeah. Uh, she told this amazing part of her amazing story last night is she, you've known the secretary since she was nine, it was since you were nine, you met her at the White House yeah. and you've worked for the secretary. Yeah. You were also a delegate from New York, yes? Yeah, I, uh, I'm a delegate this time. This is my third uh, convention, so I'm also a delegate for her and uh, yeah, I started uh, interning for her uh, during her first uh, Senate race in New York and then I worked for her on uh, Capitol Hill um, I when I, <laughs> when I uh, was at a student at Georgetown um, so, and then I worked for her on her uh, first presidential campaign. So uh, we, I've had a long personal and professional history with Hillary, and I'm very proud of it. So before we get to the history, and I've got a bunch of questions for you, and we're also, let me just make sure I tell everybody, we're waiting for your questions. Send in your questions. You can post them on in the comments section below. Um, and send us your questions. We'll give them Anastasia. We'll ask some questions. We'll, uh, and just keep doing it. Keep the conversation going, and we'll get that. And we'll bring you guys in um, as soon as you guys send us some questions. So my question, though, is you've known the secretary for a very long time. You've worked for the secretary. It's one thing to advocate for someone that you've known so long, advocate for someone that you want to be president. It's a totally different thing to walk out on a convention stage with thousands of people, millions of people watching at home. Just Can you describe for me what that moment was like to walk out there? Um, I was probably more nervous than I've ever been in my entire life. It's obviously the biggest stage I've ever spoken on, but Right before I rolled out, I just remember getting this immense surge of excitement because I knew I knew it was going to be a big moment for both uh, Hillary and myself. And um, the 56 million people with disabilities that I helped to give a voice to in this country. So it was right before I turned the corner and rolled out. I remember the nerves turning into a uh, sensation of excitement and just, I, I was just so honored to have the opportunity. You spoke about the person that you know, that folks might not know, and how she's been an advocate of yours and been a friend of yours for a very long time. What don't people know about Hillary Clinton? that you hope they do know before they head to the polls? Um, well, firstly, let me say she's one of the most intelligent people I've, I've ever met in my life. One of the uh, um, things that I got to do when I was a student at Georgetown uh, and interning for her uh, in her Senate office was interview her for uh, for a course that I took with uh, Donna Brazil, Women in American Politics. And when I sat, I mean, I'd known this well before this interview, but I just remember being awestruck at just how incredible it felt to sit there and hear her talk about, I mean, the actual interview was a long time ago, but I'm just awestruck by her her passion, her commitment, her uh, um, 
the way that she just doesn't give up. She's been, um, you know, knocked down more than anyone I know, and she just continues getting right back up and fighting for what she believes in. And, um, but as a friend, I'm lucky to see, get to see the warm side of her all the time as well. It's so shocking to hear so many people say that they don't think that she's very warm or approachable or honest because that's just uh, not the Hillary that I know. The Hillary that I know is the exact opposite of that. She's loving, caring, um, really easy to talk to, very passionate, and I'm just so proud to support her in this campaign and even prouder to be a close friend of her. And a reminder, as we continue our conversation, send in your questions for Anastasia and we'll make sure to answer. I've probably got a bunch already as I was not looking down at my phone and I'll take a look and see at a couple. Um, so many people, this is from this is from Venus, so I want to just read this to you. So many people are praising your performance, a smart young lady, and Teresa says you're an inspiration. Oh, those are more comments than questions, but I think you'll appreciate that regardless. <laughs> um, let's see what else we have here. Um, Jeff says that you were incredible last night. Tom says that you rocked it. And uh, let's see, we've got to get a couple questions in here. Maria asks, this is an interesting one, do speakers at the convention get paid? I've never asked that question. I, I would absolutely assume no, but no. give me your take. No, absolutely not. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't paid to get up on the stage and, and speak for her. No. Um, Steve says that he has a granddaughter with a disability, and he would love you to, to meet. That kind of gets to one of the questions that I had for you, which is, you are very politically active, and you speak out for Americans with, with disability. What is what do you want to do next after after a big stage like this? You've got people who you know who see you as an inspiration and a role model. What do you want to do with that? What do you want to harness with this? Well, I I want to use it to continue our work. I'm one of many incredible advocates across this country, and this opportunity is just giving me an even greater chance to connect with so many other people that are doing the same thing and believe in the same thing. So I'm appreciative of how much this will um, increase my ability to connect with others who are doing the same thing because I think we will make the, the greatest impact when we connect and work together. So I look forward to, I mean, I'm going to continue um, w with Hillary throughout the general election. I'm going to be um, acting as a surrogate for the election. Um, so I'm going to stay involved with the campaign. Uh, but beyond that, I hope to continue doing my advocacy work and like is your how, how old are you do you want do you how, do you mind me asking i'm 32. you've got you've got you got a, as much of the world to do with what you want let me grab my questions really quick so i can ask you some more um one thing that i that really struck me is um you also took on donald trump last night and you took him on very i mean there was a really um the video beforehand was striking something obviously and you you knew that video that's what i was that's the image that came to mind when I, when I thought about including, that is the biggest part of the reason why I included that, uh, the statement about Donald Trump in my speech, because uh, the, the statement that he gave was so overt. Um, it was on national television, obviously, because his campaign is being covered. And I just felt like I couldn't. Um, I, it upset me the first time I saw it, and every single time after that. And and I felt like I had a responsibility and an opportunity to respond. Now, what part of the um, one of the things that you said, and I'll read it. I'm sure many of you saw it, but I want to read it for you because I did. It, it was striking, and it struck me when when my my ears perked up when you said it. You wrote, you said this last night. I fear the day we elect a president who defines being an American in the narrowest possible possible of terms, who shouts, bullies, and profits off 
of the of vulnerable Americans. Donald Trump has shown us who he really is, you said. And this is the part that I that I that struck me. I honestly feel bad for anyone with that much hate in their heart. Why do you feel bad for Donald Trump? Because um, like I said, he has shown us through his campaign that anyone basically who doesn't think like him, who doesn't agree with him, who isn't, you know, uh, a powerful, uh, successful businessman or woman in the corporate world, anyone who's not like him. So basically, everyone who makes our country diverse and who makes me proud to be an American is someone that he doesn't represent. And he sh told us that in using his own words when he talks about building a wall and not allowing Muslims to enter this country and then uh, insulting the reporter with a disability and making all those negative comments about Megan Fox. I mean, if you go Megan. through it, Meg sorry, Megan Kelly, if you go through it, he's literally insulted almost every group, every person that ev makes up the fabric of our country. And um, I, so it's just a campaign that feeds off of scaring people and fear and division, like I spoke about last night. And I just, I just can't get behind that. That's not how I roll. <laughs> That's not how I roll joining us if you're just joining us right now for Facebook Facebook live chat I'm Kate Baldwin of CNN sitting in the CNN grill and I'm here with Anastasia Somoza one of those speakers uh, someone who a lot of folks say stole the show last night with her passionate speech I'm gonna take a look right now because the, the folks are sending in many of your questions Anastasia if you can bear with me yeah I want to say uh, from the comments that I've received yeah. through my social media is that um, some uh, disability advocates pointed out to me that some of the interviews have ar that have already been aired have not been fully accessible to the deaf community. So um, if we can all keep that in mind and try to, I don't know if it's possible through Facebook Live, but if captioning is possible, that would be really important so that um, the deaf community can access these interviews. A beyond an excellent point that we'll bring that they're looking at that all of our producers off the off, off camera are looking at right now. Um, let's take a look. They're coming in fast and furious here now. Um, some of the comments. If you just give me a second, send in your comments if you have them. Be part of our conversation, please. Uh, let's see. Here we go. This is a good one for you. Um, Anasta Here's the last one for you. Rod Jennings, he asked this. Anastasia is such an inspiration. My question is, are there more people, uh, are there more people with disabilities becoming more involved in politics that you know of? How, how, should, how do you want people to get more involved? Um, I would, um, I know, I know a lot of people, a lot of young advocates who are friends of mine, there are, um, uh, Really, everyone should think of themselves as, as an advocate. If, um, uh, but the one of the best ways to connect really is through social media. I mean, if you want to get involved with uh, Hillary's campaign, uh, there are plenty of um, disability-specific groups that we're trying to start up through the campaign. Uh, and I can share, I don't have that information off the top of my head right now, but I can share that with everyone in, in comments later if that's possible. Um, sorry, I, I just don't remember the... She also warned me that she's going off about four hours of sleep or so because she was, she was up so late. After the show. Final question for you is I'm wondering, as you, went, if you, as you left the stage, have you heard from the secretary after your speech? Um, I've heard from... Uh, I got messages from, yes, the secretary's uh, assistants and uh, President Clinton, actually, because you asked or wanted to know a little bit about the backstory. The day that I met uh, Hillary was also the day that I participated in a um, town hall meeting one month after President Clinton became president. It was called President Clinton Answering Children's Questions. Um, so I'm, I'm also incredibly 
close with President Clinton and uh, I heard from all of their um, top aides yesterday. What, what did they say? Give us a um, Well, I got a photograph. The coolest one probably was the photograph that I got, that I got of President Clinton watching the, spe watching the speech. Um, and I heard that uh, he watched it with Chelsea. I waited to try to see them yesterday, but uh, I haven't seen them yet. But hopefully that will happen at some point in the next few days. And I've heard from everyone that they're extremely happy, which obviously makes me happy too. I'm sure. Anastasia, it's wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you all for joining us for this Facebook Live. I'm Kate Baldwin here in the CNN Grill in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at the side of the Democratic uh, National Convention. You can also, of course, it would be bad if I didn't plug my own show. If you join me every day, me and John Berman for At This Hour at 11 o'clock Eastern. You can also see me if you're traveling around the world, CNN International. I have a show, State of the Race, every day, 2.30 Eastern on CNN International. Thank you so much for joining us. Anastasia, thank you so much again. Thank you for having me.